How are you doing? This has been Fisher with Steady Demand. I'm a Platinum Google My Business product expert. And I just want to show you really quickly how you're going to go ahead and add users to Google My Business. So if you are on the desktop version of GMB, you'll notice here that you have a web-based interface. You'll just simply click on Users in the left-hand side. And then what you want to do is you want to click on Add Users. When you click on Add Users, all you need to do is start typing in the email address or the name of the person. I think the email address better. When you do this, what you'll notice is, is you get two options. The first one is email. The other one is basically a picture. Always select email as this will send an email invitation. If you select this one, it might end up sending it to the brand account which the user may or may not have. These are kind of starting being phased out a couple of years ago. So that's basically it. The next thing you'll do is choose a role. For the most cases, you're going to want to select manager. If we're doing something called an owner swap, we might want to do owner, but manager is going to be the best one. You should keep owner. Somebody else should get manager. Site manager is for limited ability. Now that's desktop. So what about for mobile. Well, mobile is a little bit different. And it's different based on whether you are on an Android or whether you're on an iPhone, uh, iOS. So here, as you can see, the, the instructions are pretty much laid out for you. If you do not have the capability to add, invite a user, add a user, invite a user, then that means you are probably a manager or a site manager, which means that you don't have the ability to add a user. So you're gonna to have to get ownership access, uh, which can be covered in a later date, to actually add a user. Just a couple quick notes. If you are suspended, then your business, um, you can still add users. If you're greeted with this screen when you go to the web-based version of business.google.com and you're greeted with nothing but type your business name, this means the account does not have any active listings in it or actually any listings at all in it. So what you're going to need to do is, is you're going to need to go up here, you're going to need to toggle, and you're going to need to find out what account your GMB listing is in. Um, just cycle through as many different accounts as you have, even old accounts, until you find it. But that is basically it. If you have any questions, let me know.